Hello, this is Chan Abraham from Daybreak Ministries and Leadership International. Just a quick announcement as I begin Thought for the Day. Uh, you'll hear me rather more frequently over the coming days uh, and into the new year because a number of our colleagues who do Thought for the Day have had to take up other activities. So I'd like to invite you, if you have any questions about faith, about how it fits in with our modern society, why not go onto the Daybreak Ministries Facebook page and you'll be able to contact me through that. Let me know your questions. And of course, if you have comments about Thought for the Day, about some of the things that we say f from any speaker, actually, please feel free to get in touch with me. That's Daybreak Ministries Facebook page. Well, here's a slightly humorous but also quite serious matter that arose as I was taking out our Christmas decorations. When my children were small, I put together a nativity scene which uh, was made up of twigs and branches, but also some small figures of the, uh, the family at the first Christmas. So there's Mary, Joseph, some little cows and sheep and so on. However, this year, as I was putting this nativity scene up, I discovered that someone had gone absent without leave. Yes, I could not find Joseph. I had an absent father. Now, I'll put a picture of this up on the Daybreak Ministries Facebook page so you can have a look and verify his absence for yourself. So, it's a slightly humorous issue, but it is representative of a bigger problem that we are having in Western society, which I believe that we've got to get to grips with. And none of this is in any way critical about anyone uh, who may be affected by this, but it's very serious. Here are some facts. 200 children lose contact with their fathers every day through the family courts. One in three children never get to see their father again after their parents' separation. One in ten children have considered suicide after their parents have separated. And 70% of fatherless young people are more likely to take drugs and more likely to take get involved in crime. Now, 97% of all dads are denied parental equality as a result of these problems because of their gender. Grandparents lose out as well. A million children have lost contact with their grandparents as a result of separation. And it costs us a huge amount of money, 48 billion pounds each year as a result of family breakdown. The result is that three million children are living in fatherless homes and one in four children do not consider their father to be part of their family. Now, in the case of the first Christmas, Joseph was very much part of the Holy Family. He was involved in training Jesus and the other children that came along to be uh, responsible people in their society. And Jesus himself was a tradesman, a builder. But we live in a society today where there are serious concerns about family breakdown and particularly the role and responsibilities of fathers. As I said at the beginning, this is not in any way a criticism. But what is really hopeful is that you will find that increasingly church communities, Christians, are opening their doors to all people of all backgrounds and whatever the circumstances. So if at Christmas time you are thinking of going along to a church family near you, I would encourage you to do so. Here's the great story. Ultimately, what the Bible teaches us is that God is our Father. And he has the capacity and the love to give us perhaps what we never had, humanly speaking. He can restore even the things that have gone wrong in our lives. So even though at my nativity scene, Joseph appeared to be missing, the reality is that God, our Father, will always be there for us. And that's the thought for the day.